Sometimes go off when I enter the building. Into the building. Into the building. Into the building. Sometimes go off when I enter the building. I'm using a closed top weaving cap made of mesh and I'm going to place this directly on top of my mannequin head and for purposes of stabilization I'm going to use T-pins which are great for just keeping your mesh cap in place and I'm going to put it in the frontal and lateral regions of this mesh cap and at the nape just one and a half inches above the darkened mesh band I'm going to create an area known as free space and you will see I'm going to use bobby pins and with the opened end of the bobby pin I'm going to gather about one and a half inches of the mesh cap and then I'm going to turn the bobby pin downward and fold the mesh band under with it and you will see I'll do the exact same thing on the left side gathering one and a half inches of the mesh net cap and then I'm going to turn the bobby pin downward and to keep the bobby pins in this position I'm going to use a T-pin at the nape and push it right through the mesh band and no hair will be crocheted into this area so I'm using Janet Collections Havana Mambo Twist in 24 inches this is going to be long and luscious and I'm using the colors number 4 and 30 and these were both $10 a piece and as you can see, this hair is truly long and it's very soft, surprisingly. So, because it's so long, I wanted to first start by unraveling the ends of the hair because this will be better for separation. And the very loop that's at the top, I'm going to create a cut right at the center. And again, you want to gently unravel the hair. So now you have two pieces that when you fold it over, they're 12 inches in length. Now you can cut this a second time and you'll have a pair that's six inches in length. So it gives you a lot more variety. And so again, when you separate the hair, just be very gentle. And this will give you more versatility. And trust me, I only use two packs of hair for this install. So with your latch hook needle, just about a half an inch above the placement of the bobby pins, you're going to go through about three to five holes and you're going to insert your hair in the latch. And you guys already know this. I've done this so many times and it's just a really good refresher. And this is great for beginners because it's super easy. Now, from one crochet knot to the next, you want to leave about three spaces or three holes in between. This is very important so that you spatially give yourself the density that you want so it kind of simulates natural looking hair. And as you can see, I'm going about three holes above the previous knot and I'm going to go through anywhere from three to five to six holes sometimes. You can Give yourself that, you know, variety and switch it up because that's what makes it appear so much more natural. And notice that the loop is at the bottom so that when you pull the length of the hair through, that loop goes on to the top and it gives us a very flat knot. That's what we want. Now, this is how the hair is looking and I just wanted to show you how I'm creating the highlights, lowlights look. And to get into the seam at the very top, you just want to start by gathering or pinching that seam together. And you're going to push your latch hook through. You're going to insert your hair into the hook, close the latch, draw it through the mesh net. Be very gentle. Create and open up your loop, pull the length of the hair through, and you're going to, you know, tighten it by pulling on both ends of the hair and really make sure it's secured. And there you have it. And basically you do that until you cinch away the seam at the very top. You want to put six inches of you know hair and then your 12 inches of hair. You want to really give yourself variety and just switch it up and give you different combinations because it looks so much more natural. 
now to create your bang i used these six inch pieces all throughout the front portion but i did not go through nearly as many holes i probably went through about two to three at most and as you can see i'm just you know doing the regular going through about two to three holes when i create my bang because i want it to be very natural and just on a on a side bang type of flow and once you fill up this general area you're gonna have ooh bomb bomblicious hair thank you so much for watching